Hey all my lovers and lovers in need, how are you? This is Suge, you know, I'm feeling good today. I had a really good day. Well, I always have good days because I'm blessed. Um, I really don't have any stressful days because my faith is just always on 100 nowadays. I've, you know, I think, shoot, uh, shoot, since 2010, actually 2009, I lived a life of just anger and just... I was just ready to fight the world, you know what I mean? And a lot of it had to do with a lot of toxic family. And I want to touch on this topic today since, you know, the holidays are drawing near and people are going to either go to spend time with their family or either they're not able to be around their family due to toxic situations. Um, the best thing I can tell you from, from my point of view of how I deal with it is I don't entertain negative bullshit. You know, I don't entertain it. I don't allow it in my space. If it's not a healed space, I don't want to be a part of it, you know, because I'm too much love. So because my love is on 100, or actually I should say 1,000, I don't brush up with too many nasty spirits because I understand how that can affect my mood. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a lover, of course, but I'm also a warrior at the same time. So because I am a lover... If any negative energy space hits me, my warrior spirit takes over and then I'll be ready to get it in. And there's nothing wrong with that because you are protecting your space with a vengeance. I protect my space with a vengeance because I love hard. And because I know I love hard, I won't allow anybody to misuse what I give for free. You understand? <laughs> Let me take a sip of my OJ on that one. And yes, I do have a wine glass. I drink Kool-Aid out of a wine glass. I drink water out of a wine glass. Uh, to me, my wine glass is everything. So, you know, walk around with a wine glass. It doesn't have to have a liquor in it. It could just have some water in it. It could have some Kool-Aid in it. Whatever your favorite drink is, put it in there and feel like royalty every day. Now, as I was saying, back to this toxic family situation, don't entertain it. Don't allow anybody who's nasty and negative and waste themselves you know, try to jump into your love space. Because one thing I have learned to come to grow to realize is that hate-filled people will hate you for your love. Love is strength. You understand? So anything that makes somebody feel less than, anything that ever makes anybody feel less than, they will always be intimidated by it. So they will try to chip away at your strength. They will try to tell you that how you feel is wrong or how you're doing something is wrong. Man, fly by me with that. I know my love is powerful and I know that I can't give it to just anyone and everybody freely, physically in their space. Now I can give love and give you that long handed spoon. Please believe it. I have no problem offering long handle spoons to anyone. I force feed people with a long handle spoon because I just don't allow negative energy into my space. And when you refuse to allow negative energy into your space, you are basically saying yes to yourself. You are saying, yes, I love me. Yes, I love me so much that I refuse to ever let anybody, I don't care who it is, mother, brother, father, sister, cousin, uncle, niece, nephews, even your own children. Sometimes you have to block them from your positive energy until they can get their shit together. You understand? So don't sit up there and worry and feel all some type of way like you're, you're the bad guy. You're not. You're not a bad guy for choosing you first. You understand? You are an awesome spirit warrior who loves you. And it's nothing wrong with that. And it also sometimes in a way I think it helps the people that you extend that long-handed spoon to, it helps them. It teaches them to love themselves too. Now, if they want to change, they will change on their own. You understand? But you don't force change upon anyone. The only person that you are in control of changing is yourself. And always remember that. I just wanted to touch on that because I know so many people feel so, some type of way about their family or even about themselves. And I'm here to tell you, baby, love on you. And whatever ain't loving on you, clip it and cut it and let it go. You understand? Because love is on, love is universal. Love is healing. Love doesn't hurt you. Healthy love is not hurt. Healthy love builds you. Healthy love makes you better. Healthy love keeps you in a good headspace. Healthy love helps you love you even more. You understand? So at the end of the day, if it's not strong enough to build you, it ain't strong enough to keep you. You feel me? So love you. Love yourself wholeheartedly. 
take care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. And give all the love to yourself if someone is not giving it to you. Don't let anyone steal what's valuable. Because that love that you got for yourself is valuable. Because there's people out here hating you for it. And wishing that they had it. So you go ahead and enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your time. Be blessed in your space. And be an awesome lover. And know, (laughs) baby, I see you. I see all of you. And I am here to love you. Love is love. May you all be blessed. Have an awesome, awesome holiday season. I do believe you probably may not hear from me until after New Year's. But what I can tell you is that if the spirit moves me to speak to you again, I will do just that. So know that I love you. Know that wherever I'm coming from is from the heart and it's pure and it's coming from the divine presence of love. You understand? I pray and I meditate before I bring this message on to you. And I ask that you just continue to just embrace and just take it all in with love and enjoy your life. Enjoy your life in love and in peace. Don't never enjoy your life in hatred and in pieces. I love you, baby. Have a good one and be blessed. Ciao, (laughs) out.